how would you feel if this is a child that was close to you? Most of you either know someone who smokes around young children, or you yourself do it. No one probably ever realizes that smoking around young children can cause them to pick up the habit very easily, or can cause them to have bad health effects. But smoking around young children can also be a pathway that leads to many different problems in the future. Not only does smoking around young children cause many different health problems, but it creates a positive image towards smoking, and it can cause them to make destructive decisions. First, I'd like to talk to you about why children start to smoke, then I'd like to talk about the different health effects, and finally, I'd like to talk about ways to prevent it. According to Kids Health, health risks of tobacco are well known, yet the numbers of, smoking, of children using smoking and chewing tobacco increase. Each day, over 3,000 children between the ages of 7 and 12 smoke their first cigarette, so it's important for us to let children know the damaging effects of smoking. Those of you who smoke said you either smoke socially or every day. And according to the American Cancer Society, most people begin smoking as teens, usually because of curiosity and peer pressure. People with friends and parents who smoke are more likely to take up smoking than those who don't. Many parents also do not enforce rules about exposing their children to secondhand smoke outside the home or even inside the home. So when adults smoke around young children, it makes them it makes children think that smoking is a good thing. Children are also very influenced and pick up bad habits easily. So when they witness adults who they look up to and admire smoking, it makes it seem like it's okay. According to Fox News, researchers found that preschoolers were nearly four times more likely to choose cigarettes if their parents smoke than those of parents who do not smoke. So according to that, because of that, researchers think that prevention programs for tobacco should be targeted at young children and rather than teenagers. The media is another major influence of children when it comes to smoking. According to the American Cancer Society, the tobacco industry's ads and other promotions for its products are a big influence on our young children in today's society. Also according to the American Cancer Society, the tobacco industry spends billions of dollars each year to create and market ads that show smoking as exciting, glamorous, and a healthy activity. According to the researchers at Dartmouth Medical School, they found that children ages 10 to 14 were more likely to try cigarettes if they saw a large amount of smoking in movies. The researchers asked 6,522 children whether they ever started, whether they ever tried to smoke, and they asked them if they saw a list of 50 randomly selected movies. The participants which the participants which had the highest level of exposure to smoking in movies were more likely to, to be were more likely to smoke. Not only do friends and family influence children to smoke, but the media also plays a big role. And because of this, children should know about the different health effects smoking can cause. Young children who are exposed to smoking at a young age have a good chance of facing many different health problems later on in life. Household smoking practices of parents have a major effect on their children. One important reason why it's not healthy to smoke around young children is that they're still in the developing stage. So when they're exposed to smoke, it hinders their development. <coughs> also, children's breathing rates are faster, so this means that they inhale at a faster rate, so their lungs will receive a higher amount of toxins that are in the air from the smoke. According to the EPA, in the U.S., each year between 150,000 and 300,000 infants and children under the age of 18 months old suffer from lung diseases such as pneumonia and bronchitis because they were exposed to secondhand smoke. This leads from anywhere to 7,500 to 15,000 hospitalizations of those children each year. Asthma is another major health problem that many young children have to deal with, and being exposed to secondhand smoke makes it worse. According to the EPA, 2 to 5 million U.S. children suffer from asthma, and about 20% experience more asthma attacks, or more severe attacks than their other fellow asthmatics. In a home where children suffer from asthma and one parent smokes, it makes them twice as likely to be absent from school due to a breathing illness. And if both parents smoke, it makes it four times more likely for them to be absent from school. Studies show that even if a child does not suffer from asthma, they are 40% more likely to be absent from school because of a breathing illness. Studies have also shown that even if a child isn't born with asthma, if they are, if they are exposed to secondhand smoke, they can develop it over the years. Some other health effects that children can develop because of smoke are that their lungs can be less developed and they will 
have a reduced function. And because their lungs are less developed, they, have a, they are more likely to be hospitalized before their second birthday and will suffer from more colds, coughs, and sore throats. These children are also more likely to suffer from severe ear infections, fluid in the middle ear, which can cause hearing and speech problems, and they are more likely to develop cancer as an adult. Smoking has such severe health effects on children that they can be deadly, but there are ways to prevent children from being exposed to secondhand smoke. There are ways to prevent these children to, from being exposed to secondhand smoke. One way to prevent children from being exposed is to not smoke around them. Another way is to educate everyone around them, like spouses and other children, on the dangers of breathing in secondhand smoke and smoking. There are many ways there are many ways to help protect children from smoke outside. According to Kids Health, you can emphasize what kids do right rather than wrong. Self-confidence is, is a child's best protection against peer pressure. It's also important to keep telling kids the dangers of tobacco use over the years, so when they come across smoking, they'll be ready for it. You can also encourage kids that they shouldn't hang out with the kids who don't respect them for choosing not to smoke. In today's society, there are so many different things that are harmful to children, and smoking is one of them. Smoking around children not only causes bad health effects, but it can cause them to pick up the habit. So next time you or someone you know decides to smoke a cigarette, just make sure there are no little kids around.